So in the last outing to Austin Cars and Coffee, um, my transmission had some severe problems. Um, it, when I got on it, it didn't want to launch. In fact, uh, the engine screamed up an RPM before the transmission engaged. And then when it did engage, it was constantly slipping really bad. And um, there was also a whining noise coming from the transmission. Uh, twice on the way home from the event, I actually had to pull over and stop the car and restart it because the transmission was stuck in third and wouldn't shift at all. So again, this car probably has less than a thousand miles on it. And at that time, I filled it up with the Valvoline Max Life transmission fluid. And if we look at the back of the label here, you'll see in here that it, it's for a Mercedes Benz Nag 1. Right now there's two two Nags, right? Little Nag and Big Nag. Uh, I have a 722608, which is a little Nag. And um, I would expect it to be supported by that. Now this, uh, this bin over here is what came out of the torque converter. Again, all the fluid was new, less than a thousand miles ago. And let me put my finger in there. And it's probably hard to see, but it is, um, it's black. So it uh, has no resemblance to the original red fluid that I put in at all. So let me clean that off. And now what's in the pan is what came out of the, uh, or the, this pan came out of the uh, tranny pan. And if we look at it, uh, same thing. It's also a, uh, a black. So I do not suggest this transmission fluid at all. Now I have uh, went ahead and um, ordered a, a brand that, that meets the specification. I actually looked it up uh, online, Bevo, and um, found, found it, ordered it from uh, Peach Parts. I'm gonna put a new filter in now. And uh, the filter doesn't look too healthy either. And, and again, it's gonna be hard to see, but it uh, looks like it's a little thick in there. Fortunately, there's no metal shavings, and I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up or not, but you can almost see a glare. It looks like uh, oil floating on water. So it is possible that I got some, uh, some water in there. Maybe the O-ring on the dipstick tube uh, is leaking. So when I clean the engine bay, maybe uh, we got a little bit of water in the pan. So um, I'm also going to replace the, uh, the O-ring on the tube uh, to hopefully prevent that in the future. But uh, I'm really hoping the uh, transmission is not trashed as a result of this. This fluid broke down um, in no time. And I, I strongly recommend that you, you pay the extra money and you stick with um, an approved fluid. So lesson learned from me. Hopefully it benefits you guys. And uh, we'll see if this solves my problem and the damage isn't permanent. Thanks for watching.